Hi and welcome to my screencast where I will show you how to first set up an X Windows server on your Windows machine and then SSH into a remote location and run graphical applications on your desktop from the remote machine. If you wish to do the same on Unix, Linux or Mac, you simply add the dash X flag to your SSH command as is shown on the screen. Alright, so first thing we'll do is download and install the X server for Windows. The easiest way to do this is installing uh, Xwing. You can download Xwing by going to a link shown on your screen. Here you will find several packages. We are interested in the Xming and the Xming fonts packages. Go ahead and put these to download now. Now that we've finished down the two packages, we'll go ahead and install them. Install the Xming package first. You can go ahead and leave all the settings of default. Once it's done, make sure you uncheck the launch Xming box before hitting finish. Now we'll go ahead and install the Xming fonts packages. Make sure that it's installed to the same folder as Xming and that you have all the font packages selected before hitting next. You can leave the rest as default. Now we can start up Xming. Go to your start menu and find the Xming folder. Then click on the Xming shortcut to launch the program. You should now see the Xming application in your system tray. Next we are going to start up the PuTTY SSH client. If you do not already have it, go to the link shown on your screen and save the file to a safe location on your computer, somewhere where you won't uh, accidentally delete or move it. Personally I save it to my program files folder. Once you are done, go ahead and open PuTTY. Put in the host name or IP address of your SSH server and the port if it's one other than 22. Then from the left tree menu, expand the SSH submenu and click on X11. Turn on enable X11 forwarding and set the X display location to localhost colon zero. Finally, go ahead and click open and put your username and password in as you normally would. Now you can go ahead and run any graphical application, such as uh, an edit in this example, and it will appear on your desktop as if you run it locally. And that's it for my screencast. Hope it was informative, and thanks for watching.